Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of 3D Design, brought to you by the Corona Public Library's Maker Exchange. My name is Mr. Martin, and today I'm going over part two of some common print mistakes and how to fix them. Let's get started. The first issue that we'll discuss today are what are known as ripples, and they look like little waves or striations in between layers of the print job. This typically happens when there's any kind of unwanted vibration, and so the easiest way to get rid of those is to get rid of the vibrations. Either the surface that your 3D printer is on is not properly stable, and during the print, the printer's kind of rocking itself back and forth, very minutely, but it's you know enough to make a difference. Or you can make sure that your 3D printer is properly maintained. All the bolts and screws are nice and tightened, and anywhere there's movement, just make sure it's free of gunk or dust. Uh, and if you know your motors require oil, uh, make sure that you do keep them well maintained and oiled so that they are functioning properly. The other solution would be to slow down the print speed. Sometimes the print speed is set up just a little too fast and again either your 3D printer shakes itself or vibrates trying to keep up. Um, so just make sure that all of those things are well maintained and adjusted in order to get rid of that effect on your final print. Next up on our list is when the base layer does not print properly. Now, this could look like either a messy or almost melted looking bottom layer. And this typically occurs when the bed plate temperature needs adjusting. So one of the first things you want to check is to make sure that you are using the proper uh, print temperature and bed plate temperature for the material that you're using, whether it's PLA or something else. You also wanna take into account the ambient temperature, uh, subtle differences in the uh, temperature of the room that you're printing in may affect your print if you don't have one that is completely covered. Um, and so you just want to make sure that those factors are adjusted and accounted for. And the layer thickness. Uh, if your print nozzle is not properly leveled, uh, what can happen is it's not properly uh, applying the right force in order to print a consistent base layer uh, of an appropriate thickness or the one that you have set. So you can always make sure that that is adjusted as well uh, if, the bid, if adjusting the temperature does not work out. And lastly, the biggest one here on this list, and one that we've had happen to us quite frequently when trying to print, is when the print comes off the bed plate mid-print. Now again, this can happen for several reasons. Typically, it is something to do with the build plate temperature. Uh, in our maker exchange, we've been able to solve this issue by just setting the build plate temperature uh, two or three degrees Celsius hotter. Um, that has for the most part fixed our issues um, but it could also be that the speed of the cooling uh, is not adequate or in this case either faster or uh, too slow so what can happen if your material does not properly cool while the print is happening uh, the edges or the layers can warp and so that's when they'll start to cool they'll shrink uh, or in you know certain cases where it's touching hotter material it'll expand um, and you'll get inconsistent prints that way. And when it warps, sometimes it does come off the bed plate. And that typically is an issue with, again, temperature. You can always adjust that base layer thickness. You can always add excess material to corners if that's an issue. Uh, something similar to what we covered in the first uh, part one video of this. Um, and of course, you always want to make sure you have proper leveling of the print bed. That final factor can make sure that your print stays you know, properly stuck to that build plate and that you don't have issues, especially during those longer prints with more vertical layers. You want to make sure that that print job stays properly secured so that it doesn't come off mid print and that you have to start all over. So there you have it, some quick and easy fixes to some incredibly common print issues. Like I said, we've had many of these things happen to us on several occasions when trying to print in our maker exchange. But of course, we turn it into a learning experience for ourselves and for you. If you've enjoyed this content, please be sure to check out the rest of our channel. And if you've enjoyed this video, well, we'll see you for the next one. Thank you. Have a good day.